Hey everyone. In this video, I wanted to really touch on something super quickly. Uh, I did a video a couple of weeks ago about how I organize my day. And I kind of stressed buckets of time. I talked about, well, there's a bucket where we work. There's a bucket where we have family. There's a bucket where we have health. Now that could be physical, it could be mental health, whatever that might be. And then there's a bucket for our hobbies or our passion, some project we're going to do. And then of course there's sleep. So I talked about these buckets and the importance of making sure you have time for each of those buckets. But something I really neglected was, well, what about chores? Now that might come under the family time. I have to go grocery shopping, I have to cook, I have to clean the house, I have to do laundry. Now I'm very blessed. I have a phenomenal wife, a fantastic partner who carries all a lot of that burden for me so I can focus on sort of work and YouTube and things like that. But maybe your day just looks so crammed. How can you get anything done? That's so why I wanted to kind of stress was, look, I totally get it. Try and carve out 15 minutes a day, 15 minutes every day to try and focus on that, that hobby or that passion, that project you want to do. Now, in an ideal world, it would be an hour. If I could spend an hour a day on something I really cared about, learning, practicing, whatever that could be, that's great. But sometimes we can't do that. But if you can carve out 15 minutes, 15 minutes, maybe I can get up 15 minutes earlier. Because that 15 minutes isn't just 15 minutes each day. It doesn't just add up. It, it really explodes in terms of the value. It builds on the previous 15 minutes. And I saw this picture, and I thought it was fantastic to illustrate this. And it was math. So over here, if we look at math for a second, so I have this calculator. And the idea was, okay, there's 365 days in the year. So if I did 1.00 to the power of 365, I end up with one. If I'm steady state, if I'm doing nothing to really try and improve, I end up with one. Now, if instead I can take 1% of my day, 15 minutes, so now I get 1.01 .01 to the power of 365. 37, because it builds. It's not just adding those little 15 minute increments. What I do builds on itself from the previous point and it adds up something way bigger than just those little 15 minutes. By doing something every day, it really magnifies, it's an exponential effect we get. And to try and prove this point, a little bit of fun. So if you looked at my 2020 look back and 2021 goals, I said I always wanted to learn how to do a Rubik's Cube. Always fascinated me, never been able to do it. So I was like, let's challenge this. How many days would it take if I spent no more than 15 minutes a day to learn how to do a Rubik's Cube? So. It took basically five, five days. So that's an hour and a quarter total time. I'm not very good at all, but I can do a Rubik's Cube. So here we have the completely messed up cube. You can kind of see that. So let, let's try and solve this thing. Okay, so we've got the, the white cross at the bottom done, and it's lined up at the sides. Now I need to get these corners done. So that was day two. Day one was actually this one single motion that really is the core of doing a Rubik's Cube for a beginner like myself. And it was this idea that you turn, twist, turn back, turn. That was it. And notice now that square is now in the right place. So we would just repeat that over and over again. So now we have the bottom completed and we still lined up those side pieces. So this was basically, yeah, this was day two. Day one was learning that motion, day two. So now we've half an hour of invested time. Day three was, well, how do I get these side pieces in the right place? And I messed that up. See, I'm still not very good. Okay, so I managed to get the white face back again. Okay, so now I've got the white and the two middle rows done. Now I need to try and start working on the top face. And I'm really not in a very good starting position. So, so now we have the idea that we have this, this was the last day. 
So we've got the yellow cross. Now I need to get the side bits in the right place. So I have one in the right place. I need to get the others in the right place. Okay, so now I have the cross in the right place and those. Now I just need to get the corners in the right place. I've got one in the right place. So now I just need to get the others rotated. So I was lucky, that's why I need to put one. So they're all in the right place. These two are turned round. And we're done. So that was five <laughs> days and 15 minutes. So what I wanted to do, learn how to do a Rubik's Cube, it took 15 minutes a day for five days. So my point is, totally get it. Things are busy, things take time. If you can carve out 15 minutes a day to start with, it is not just 15 minutes a day. It is not just really adding up to an hour and three quarters a week. That consistent time, continually doing things is exponential. You can achieve so much more than what it feels like it's doing. So I've always wanted to do, took me five 15 minute increments. I'm not very good, you saw me mess it up uh, in the middle there, but it really wasn't that long. So if you think, hey, if I can do 15 minutes, now think how powerful half an hour would be, or an hour, um, you can really get things done. So make a start, even if it's small, that, that little change, that little work, actually adds up to far more than what that individual time seems to do. So that was it. Um, go out, get it done, and good luck. Take care.